So then I guess just before we, we wrap up for the episode, what's, in a, in a similar vein, what's one thing that you wish small business owners would stop wasting time, effort, money, whatever, on in, in their early stages that is actually hindering them or just a waste of time and money? Uh, it's been, it's a risk of a little bit of repetition, but it's this. What I really need to know is to make sure, you know, what does a good order look like? Probably think of it that way. Right? Just ignore sales and market for a second. What does a good order look like? Right? That's going to be a size of order, location, type of customer, market, etc. Right? And then go, okay, who do I want to talk to where that's going to be a good order? The definition has got to be good for them. They're not going to place the order. Why is it good for me? And therefore learning to say no. Right? Any good sales guy, and the use expression of coin operated, and some of the best ones are coin operated, just wind up and they're going to go to see, is the, is they're ruthless at going, I'm not going to talk to that person because they're not going to place an order. I'm going to get permission. So I'm going to move on to the next one. Yeah. So it's really about having those quality conversations that are focused on the customer and the value, not on more and more clever, exciting ways to describe why my widget's the sexiest, best, whatever, because that's not what people are doing. They're buying swimming pools. What's the People don't buy drills, they buy holes. It's that kind of, it's what are, what are you really doing for them? What's that real value? And that's not, that's not just in their sales and marketing. It's in everything that they do, their product management choices. If you've got a cloud-based software business, are the developers building the features that are essential to get those projects that are going to be successful? Or is everyone getting busy adding all sorts of things that might really be needed in three years' time? It, it ripples, ripples across the whole business. So it's it's being focused on that. Again, my engineering background, um, studied a lot around Lean, Six Sigma, et cetera. They got this expression, go to Gemba. So it's Japanese term. I think the literal meaning is the real place. In Six Sigma terms, it's where the work is done. Right? Get out. Go visit your customers, go into their factory and, and look at the problems they've got to make sure it's a fit, etc. So you're talking their language, not your jargon, their problem, not your sexy toy. And that ultimately will fuel. Yeah, you will hit a rich scene where you go, fantastic. I've suddenly found a way that's really relevant to these people. And then I might want to throw volume. I want to put my money in through and I'm going to really chase that now now i've got a rich seam i'm going to mine it for all its work but that's the thing in the early days it's finding where those are having the confidence to stay focused when actually the orders aren't coming at quite the pace you want to do and sadly also having the confidence where you go i really have this tried this long and if i need to go mining somewhere else now but at least i've stuck to my guns and therefore i really know whether it's worked or not